Welcome to the country. I am on the east bank this morning. And I'm field testing a lure that I carved yesterday. I made one with uh, a little less bulk. Took a lot of material off of this one. I wanted it to fish under the water a little bit better and not be such a topwater lure, but more like a uh, more like a jerk bait. Gives me a lot more versatility with it. This guy right here is fishing pretty good so far. Not uh, turning upside down or rolling around in circles or not doing anything weird. Look at this guy. Look at him. I took a lot of I took a lot of material off the back and off the belly on this one just to get that uh, that weight down. I gave this one a little bit of a chartreuse yellow paint job on the bill and then the uh, the body. Is like the other one. It's not. Uh, it's not paint at all. It's where I took a torch and I burnt the wood to get that color. And I can lighten it up a little bit if I take a little bit of sandpaper and sand it after I burn it. It'll lighten it up, make it more of a brown. I may play around with the finish on them a little bit once I get. Once I get it to where I kind of like it, which I think this one is a lot better than the first two as far as the way I like it to fish. But I don't guess that means anything unless you can catch a fish on the thing. You never know what you're going to run into when you come out here, so. I'm going to pitch this guy around for a little bit this morning. See what happens. So if I run into one. Then I'll be back. All right, guys, so I made a couple modifications to the lure. I uh, took the back hooks and moved them from the end of the bait to the bottom. And then I took the front hook and I moved it forward a little bit just to keep the hooks from tangling up with each other. And that seems to have changed the way it fishes a little bit. It's... Got a little bit more weight to the front just by moving that hook forward. And I did it. I hooked the fish. I got one. I got one. Look. Look at that. I did it, guys. I got him. I did it. Holy cow.
I did it, guys. I hooked me one. Made a little bit of a modification there. Oh, holy cow. Look at this. Look. Look, guys. Caught a bass on my hand carved lure. Holy cow. Look at that. That's not a big bass, but that don't matter to me. I did it. Oh. Let that guy go. He may grow up to be a giant one of these days. Man, that was cool. The hand carved lure. Look at that. That's a cool deal right there. Man. Like I said, just that little bit of a change. At that lure where. It would stay under the water just a little bit longer. Kind of just change the whole weight distribution of it. That was cool. Of course, now that might bring up other problems that you gotta deal with. But all right, guys, I'm out of time for this morning. I think the field test went pretty well for this guy. Did what I wanted it to do, which was catch a fish mainly, but I wanted to see how well the thing would dive and work in the water, make sure it didn't do anything crazy, turn upside down all the time or spin in circles or something. I made a couple changes to it by moving that hook from the back to the bottom and moving that front hook forward seemed to make a difference in the weight distribution and the way the thing fished overall. I think it's an improvement from the last one. I'm not finished yet. I'm going to go back to the house and get another block of wood and get started on the next version. See if I can make it even better. I want to thank you guys for watching.